Hi and a welcome to Dalhousie Castle, 700 years of Scottish history right here on our doorstep. 20 minutes away from Edinburgh and royalty like you've never known stopped here. Kings, we had Oliver Cromwell, Queen Victoria had afternoon tea in the library. All sounds wonderful and idyllic, doesn't it? But what I want to know is, what does this magnificent castle offer us as a guest? Let's go find out. Ah, lovely floor here. This is the Victoria bedroom. Queen Victoria did come many a time here and I wonder if she'd stopped here. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful bed. Look at this for a canopy. Absolutely lovely. An adjoining room as well. And this wonderful swag of curtain. And look at these for shutters. Now that's what I call a shutter. Absolute seclusion. Oh, now this is a beautiful room. Look at this four-poster bed. That is royalty. Having said that, this is Mary Queen of Scots' room, and it makes you wonder, did she sleep in this bed? One can only wonder, can't you? Beautiful color, lovely, lovely decadence. You'd feel very, very special in a four-poster bed like this. Let's have a look through and see what else there is. Oh, now, this is beautiful. Once again, great space to stretch out after the, the wedding activities. An opportunity to have window seats. There are three in this suite. Absolutely wonderful. And a little room, all on its own, a little circular room here. A little desk. You'd feel like the queen yourself, wouldn't you? I like this. Very nice indeed. The wonderful creaky stairs that are Dalhousie Castle. No lifts, but plenty of stairs. Oh, this is nice. A lovely high ceiling turret, I would imagine, above it. Very bright, very nice. The bathroom, having a look into the bathroom here. Oh, nice view. Beautiful view, right over the sweeping hills. That would be nice. Shower, bath, very nice. Beautiful mosaic. Yes, lovely. Now this is the fun bit. This is the bit I really enjoy. All the way down here is your own private corridor. Come with me, come see. Keep coming. Well, I've just come up a, a wonderful corridor here that is absolutely private. You really do feel very beautifully secluded here and in this tranquil space. Absolutely wonderful. Once again, a four-poster bed. This room is called the Dalhousie. The Dalhousie after the castle. Beautiful, succulent colours. Absolutely lovely. Once again, with three, not one, not two, but three bay windows with actual working shutters as well which is a wonderful thing to have when you want that complete privacy. Ah, beautiful. And look at this for a feature. I'm assuming it's wood, cast iron and glass. And it's a table now. This is a beautiful room.
Now one of the beautiful things that happens here with the falconry is an opportunity for people who wish to be wed at Dalhousie Castle to have a very, very intimate experience with a barn owl. Denise, tell me about this. Uh, eight years ago we started offering a brand new service at the request of one uh, couple, which was wedding ring delivery by owl. And uh, when they requested it, we thought about it and decided, yes, we absolutely could try that. So we got Bonnie, the barn owl, and uh, we can tie the rings to her just with a little silk ribbon and an organza bag. And during the service, the best man puts the glove on and she'll sail down the aisle to his glove. That is phenomenal. And she's, she, she does this quite naturally now, she? Does, she does, yeah. Bonnie really, really enjoys doing weddings. Um, <laughs> I think it's funny because up at the castle, she knows the chapel door and she gets all excited when she sees the chapel door ready to go in. Her big role. Yeah, she, probably, she probably actually gets more attention than the bride. I think, <laughs> I, I don't want to say so, but I think sometimes she, she steals the show for a second. I could imagine. You are a beautiful bird. Bonnie, Bonnie the Barn Owl. And this is where Bonnie the Barn Owl will swoop down, down passing all the guests, flying down to greet the best man here with the rings for the wedding. How beautiful is that? And here is the wedding room. Beautiful where the bride and groom have their reception with all of their guests gathered around them. Look at these magnificent chairs that the bride and groom are sat upon, overlooking the gardens. Well, here we are in, ooh, nice bathroom. Here we are in one of the honeymoon suites. Absolutely beautiful, as you can see. Original fireplace here. Beautiful, beautiful place to be. You can imagine on your honeymoon coming in here after the hectic time that you've had, getting wed, and then coming to this serenity. Oh, this is grand. This is lovely. Oh yes, I can see why this is a honeymoon suite. This beautiful sweeping ceiling. Very comfortable looking bed, I'm sure. Let's just get ourselves comfy here. I'm only on my own, but let's have a feel of the luxury of sitting here and looking at this domed room. Absolutely stunning. Wow, this must be a well. Fantastic. And this, I mean, this has got to be used, hasn't it? A kissing chair. Perfect de Ramsia. Absolutely stunning. Right, well that was the dungeon, but now it's a well-stocked wine cellar, which I'm looking forward to trying out later in the library. Speaking with Graham Ganella now from the Dalhousie Hotel. Now, Graham, I've had the great delight of being able to go into a lot of the rooms, and I've chosen two as my favorites, uh, Mary Queen of Scots and William Morris. But what about you? Which one would you choose if you had an all-time favorite room that you could go into? It depends on the mood, I suppose. Yeah, um, romance. Exactly. Um, but if you had to absolutely pin me down to one room, then it would be the Dalhousie room. Um, just very unique in its shape, um, the light that comes into it, the colour schemes are fantastic. It's got a lot of character about it, so I reckon the Dalhousie, which is a round tower room, I don't know if you Yes. Know, fantastic room. Yes. Had, would, be, would be my room. So it wouldn't be the honeymoon suite? Not at this moment in time, no. <laughs> Well, that's fair enough, fair enough. Now we had the great delight of going into the dungeon on our first night to uh, have some of the wonderful food that you serve there. You must have a lot of chefs, absolutely fantastic food. Uh, there's a team of highly talented chefs. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them have been with us for five years, mm -hmm. longer. Mm -hmm. Our head chef, uh, Francois uh, mm -hmm. Giraud, uh, he's been with us for close to nine years, I believe. Um, he's a fantastic chef. Um, the dedication and talent in the kitchen is second to none. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that you, you see that reflected in the food that you've eaten. Oh yeah, absolutely. And things that they combine together, ingredients I would never have considered putting together were absolutely fantastic. Beautiful on the plate. 
Now, Graham, one final question. This beautiful space that we're in, this library that we're in, is part of 700 years, at least, of history and all these royalties that have passed through these doors. But there has to be a ghost. Surely there's a ghost here. Well, people do say that they've heard, felt and experienced different things, but the only spirits I know of are the ones that are served in the bar, just rare. Perfect. Thank you very much indeed, Graham. Well, here we are at the end of our day at Dalhousie Castle. It's been absolutely delightful. So many things to see and do. And hopefully we've given you a little flavour of some of the things you could be enjoying as well. As you can hear in the background, the bagpipes are playing. There is a function going on downstairs. But I'm retiring to my room, the William Wallace room, which has the terrace, as you can see, overlooking the countryside.